So now we can install PHP. Let's download it. Some pre-built documentation. And some documentation in English and it says there there's um another link there for languages other than English. PHP has many more configure options that enable support for various things. Read the website as well. So yeah, there's quite a lot of options there. Um, let's again put this in. Let's get the file extracted first. Right, let's get this configure into a statement that won't run. Okay, it's doing the same thing again. Don't know why that happens. We use our Right, let's read all about these options. So, data the enable FPM, disable pair software. So, probably I'll leave that as disabled, it may be a, an option. FTP get tax right disable Alex uh, libxml now that one we don't need because we've got that installed um, just going to remove that MySQLR support. Right, I think the rest are probably to do the option packages. I'm not going to adjust anything here, just run that command. And hopefully it's enough to get the package built without those options. Okay, so there's something about a license there. And if you continue building, then you agree to the license by default. So that is finished building and we can run make test. Um, it says you can prefix command with yes, n, 
to stop the questions asking. I'm not going to do that to see how many actually get and hopefully won't get any. Um, it says several may fail. So what will happen, I'll just do no each time it comes up and hopefully there won't be too many. Okay, so it seems like the um, errors have been saved to the end, which is good. So I don't want to send this report, so I do no. And 
because I could have saved it actually um, to look at but it looks like there's a few that have failed various bugs exist expected failure um, I was just wondering valid path and a couple of warnings so nothing too serious so we can install this now Default configuration files for the file CGI processor are installed only if they do not already exist on the system. If this is the first installation, they should be renamed as the root user. So this is the first installation. The pre built HTML top implementation is packaged into two forms a tarball containing many individual files useful for quickly quick loading into your browser. And one large individual file which is useful for using the search utility of the browser. If you downloaded either or both of documentation files, this should follow commands as a route to install, to install them. And these instructions assume the English docs. So let's see if we can install both of them. So that's the single one, and this is the multi one. Bundle pair is not installed because of bug which might pollute the file system with several hidden files and directories. If pair is needed, execute it. So we didn't install that. So let's go on to configuration. We want to add user lib. Okay, so is that what this does? Yep. So let's add this in. To enable file CGI support in the Apache web server, load two load model directors must be added. A commented out to so issue the following commands as root user. Oh, did we play with that? I'm not sure if there was. Alright, okay. Looks like that's the standard. These modules accept various proxy pass directives. One possibility is the root. It's, I don't know what any of this means, unfortunately. I've never used PHP. But let's stick in the one possibility they suggest. Heading lines to the setup of the PHPS extension to so highlight the PHP source may be desirable. I'm not sure what that means. There's a boot script and it says you'll need to restart the Apache web server as well. So let's get the daemon installed. Make install PHP. P start. And we'll do restart for the HTTPD. So, uh, like I said, I don't know anything about PHP, so I don't know if there's a way of testing that or not. So we'll have to assume it's installed correctly. So let's tidy that up. And I think I marked off HTTP, did I? Uh, 